All right, hello, good day to you. In today's video, I'll be talking about how impressed I am with Jason Koo's bicycle. Check this baby out. Look at the lowered crossbar. This is what I learned as a lady bike model, uh, perhaps for easier leg movement when in skirt or in dresses. I find that though a little rusty, it still packs many great attributes that makes it trusty. Look at this carrier clip. Look at this bell, man. Look at that bell and this lock and that lock. Okay, enough. I was just kidding. This is not Jason's bicycle, but mine. I cycle to the MRT on days I need to go out. In today's video proper, I'll be talking about how impressed I am with Jason Koo's origami bicycle. Found in Tanteda 19, page 163, 212 steps, spanning 15 pages. It looks horrifying, but it's actually pretty manageable. It is recommended to use something large and thin, dual-colored. Uh, I use the double non-bleed tissue. I feel that... Uh, Double tissue foil would be better. Fearless Flourish made a tutorial on it. It was a total lifesaver as I was a little confused at some parts. Okay, first things first, look at the model itself. I chose the turquoise and brown as I like this combination. It gives off a very retro vibe. It is a perfect all-around model. I have this bias for origami models that look good from all sides. So I try to incorporate that into my own designs as well. And from the look of this, it makes me so happy. Look at the wheels. Alright, look at the rims. I think these are the, the spokes. Look at the stand. Check out the seat. All these are so well thought of. And yeah, I'm not too sure what happened to the back wheel. It's like a little buckling. So I swear I followed the instructions religiously. <laughs> and, uh, and I must also add that the folding sequence is uh, very smooth and very comfortable. Sometimes when we do origami or whatever hobby, it's the, it is to pursue a feeling. I used to have this uh, great elation uh, when I'm folding Satoshi Kamiya's model. I believe the latest being the Kirin. The folding process was uh, so smooth and so clean. But this, heck, bicycle with all these bars running all over the place, intersecting each other. What kind of tree model you need to have to achieve this? What kind of thought process went into this project? It is such a genius work. Look at this, the gaps are real. Just want to say that I'm really happy to have chosen this model to fold in my to fold list. And I highly recommend that you give it a shot. Okay, I'm not a bicycle enthusiast. I need to Google for bicycle vocabulary to, on this comparison. So looking at this picture. Okay, let's look at it from this angle. Uh, I believe it has this, the stem, the handlebars. This is the headlight, I guess. This is the crossbar. This is the seat. And the seat post, um, interestingly, runs straight down like that. So it's supposed to be diagonal. And maybe this is a little bit too 90 degrees for a bicycle. <laughs> and, um, maybe the seat post and the uh, seat stay is a swap position. So this should be the rim. This should be the spoke, I guess. All these folds that are pointing outwards. And this should be the fork. And yeah, the fork is in fact a real one, not just on one side. Check this out. There's one here and here. Amazing. So this is the the down tube, then the pedal. Okay, this is a little seat post. We can just little gap down here. This is the seat stay, I guess. Right? Yeah, see? Check it out. And this one is the seat tube. So in, I think the, if this is a real bicycle model, the seat should be like that. <laughs> and it comes out this way. This little part should be the head tube. And yeah, that is all for today. Amazing, amazing model. Uh, lots of details. So happy with this. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment and share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.